Welcome back to the stream, chat. Okay, today we're going to be doing a live unboxing of a Sword and Shield Clash Elite Trainers Pack. Alright. Video orientation is a little bit stiffy. Honestly. I'm unfortunately have to do it in this view. I was trying to go live off my computer and webcam, but it was not working. All right, so for those who don't know, it's pretty, this could be a very unique box. I've seen a lot of high pulls come out of this and it comes with a really cool collector's edition, like a little case. So we're guaranteed eight TCG Sword and Shield booster pack, 65 card sleeves, Fipri and Cooper Jaw, 55, oh, 45 TCG energy cards, a player's guide to Sword and Shield expansion, a TCG rulebook, a six damage counter dice, a one competition legal coin flip die, two acrylic coin markers, a collector's box to hold everything with four dividers to keep it organized, and a code card for the Pokemon trainers online. Lit. Lit. Oh, we got the little guide right here. It's pretty sweet. Go through some little cool artwork. Oh, that's cool. It actually tells you the, the value guide, too. That's pretty cool. We'll probably end up using this. All right, guys. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the stream. I know I've been getting a lot of requests to have another one of these. Oh, buddy. Let's get better of a camera angle. Okay. That's way better. All right. To start off, we got a nice little uh, self-explanatory player's guide. That's always come in handy. I'm gonna sit that to the side over here. Oh, whoa, what? I just seen. That's sick. The inside of this, it looks like you could take apart, right? And there's some cool graphics on the inside. Isn't that neat? Huh. Do some cool little scene plays through it with your card in the background pictures. That'd be sick as fudge. All right. Ooh, I'm kind of very curious to see what these card packs are going to be. Ooh, we got a card pack on top. I like that. Right off the back, th we're going to save this guy for last. I got a couple prizes for you guys this stream, too, with different unboxings as well. Um, stay tuned for later on in the stream. We're going to be going through that. All right, we got a cool little trading card rule book for the noobs. So I'm going to... Get a little deck saved up for my cuz. Let him use that. Oh, here's a competition flipping coins. Those are sick. And same with the competition dice. Alright, right on. Actually, probably gonna end up needing this because, like I said previously, I'm really gonna debate entering and competing, boys and girls. No hidden artwork design in the box, just checking. All right, what are these guys? Are these the unique? Ah, oh, sweet, we got four separating sleeves so we could keep certain ones like energy cards behind. I could write energy up on the top corner. I like that. Follows through with the little box, keep it all separated, that's pretty cool. I'll end up actually using this box for a couple of the cards that are basic decks that I have that are unsleeved in the deck selves itself. Ooh, another one of these boys. We got about like 14 of these. Next stream, we'll be giving away a bunch of these codes. So make sure to tune in for that, dudes. These are what I was curious about. Okay, now these are the sleeves. Those are sick. What label and printing was open on the side? <clears throat> Ooh, I like these. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's almost like a little bit of a weird hollow foil on the inside. That's pretty cool. That's nifty. Definitely gonna take advantage of these boys. I'm gonna need them all. We got our energy cards here. That's nice to know. Actually, just double check and guaranteed we don't have some special energy of some sort in this little deck card pack right here real quick. No, just a good even amount of all basic energies we need to actually play the whole game. So that's a good play energy amount. Go ahead, put this in the little card slot right here. 
Just put a slot behind it. Sweet, dude. All right, this is gonna be going pretty good. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, nine. It said. I thought that it said it. I thought it said there was ten booster packs. No, there's eight booster packs. Wait, did they give me an extra one? No, I got eight. Okay, so that one will be the lucky one. We'll open this guy last, okay? Go ahead, get some of this stuff out of the way. Cards I placed up in there. A mouse and a few other things. Man, too bad YouTube. I can't play music because I'll be totally vibing with you guys. Heck of crispy right now. All right, so what I'm going to do, actually, we'll get a little bit prepared right now. I'm going to pre-open some of these. What's good, Dylan? Please, welcome back, everybody. I've been, I've been getting a lot of questions asked about how to rate your cards as well. I'll walk through with you guys here towards the end of the stream. Remind me, and I'll walk you guys to see if you guys got some bangers in your cards. Because you never know. You, you probably, If you have a collection of Pokemon cards, if you're my age even, dude, you probably got some old school cards. You probably got, like, if you had since you were a kid, at least some 1995s, 2000 months, that's threes. You could potentially have some big money, money, son. Even newer ones, you can have some potential money. But I'll walk you guys through how to identify, which is kind of pretty easy. But there's a lot of lot of variables that go into play. Like a lot. A lot. I've actually had a large chunk of my audience um, tune in. And I think that they had some Charizos and some certain edition Charizards. But we also got to be careful, guys. Because even though we see a lot of these out there, right... There's a lot of fakes right now going on, which is increasing and decreasing the market. And it almost is literally like people are doing this stuff on purpose to try to confuse people and mix up the market so they can value their cards higher and or lower, considering if you have an ex over expunged amount of cards that are really kind of like good, obviously, and they're known as fakes. I know back in the day when I was a kid, Anytime we had fakes, we would trade those for good cards to kids we didn't know. So, yeah, that's kind of evolved. And I always keep these packs, especially if you don't have enough sleeves. I guarantee I have enough sleeves. I'm just doing this, too, because I want to create some little artwork. And I'll put a little logo design with some of these. Um, I actually got some recommendations to um do a couple fan paintings and do a giveaway or do a live, since everybody knows my art skills, which I'm thinking about. Maybe doing, maybe doing my favorite, one of my, one of my all-time favorites, Scizor. I may do that Pokemon. And I'll probably give that one out with a live. And maybe, like, a, maybe competition pack. We'll see. But yeah, <clears throat> here, as I'm actually going through this, a couple variables you need to know about if your card's worth money. If it's a first edition, shadowless, holographic, and full holographic. Those three things right there, or four things, are the biggest factors on if you actually have a card worth of value. Now, don't get too ashamed because cards always have high ratings at different times, right? So, for an example, if I have a card right now here let me show you guys an example one minute okay where's my magnet my magneton i seen this youtuber i'm not going to mention names talking about this specific card right all right actually i'm not going to go through my other cards i'll show you guys this one for an example all right so this guy right here the bottom right corner See that star? It's either going to be, depending where it is in the newer ones or older ones. Newer ones are usually up here. The first edition will always be right here or at the top, okay? Those circles down right there, that marks it as a common. A box marks it as an uncommon or diamond. And that right there, that star, marks it as a rare. Now, if you get a golden star, that's like there's only a very limited handful in circulation. If you get a gold star, you got a one in a million card, literally. Now shadowless or shadow now this is shadow shadowless is an older sort style formed cards before they started mass reprinting 
before adding different like forms of the card to make it look new and more updated, they add shadowless versions. Now, shadowless versions, some are worth more, some are worth less. That's another thing to identify your card, okay? Third thing, a lot of cards have different level caps. This one is actually a really high level cap at 36 with the uh, old school edition to Dirt Rio. Now, this one is actually worth some money. Now, it's worth right here, you know? What was that? Oh, no, that was a special edition. This is one of the ones that could be potentially worth if I get it graded around a few thousand dollars. Now, I'm, when you get them graded, that's what actually makes the value of a card, which they take in dependencies if there's any, if the design's layered off, off centered a little bit, or like crevices are messed up from being played. They'll decrease a bunch of different factors laying in with, yeah, don't mind that. My dogs were like chewing up a bunch of shit this morning, little, little buttholes. But yeah, those are all the factors that are going to lie in with if your card's rated and in value or not. Now, some other cards don't have half the stuff that I just included with factors and rating in actually them being like significant in value and, or not. So those ones are normally more a unique card. And that pack, it was an old school pack. I forgot that it was, it was a super fucking old school pack. It was from 2005 to printed from like 2015 or something or 2016 because it's a 2016 card but <clears throat> a lot of things have different outcome standards when it comes to cards now you can get a card that's a common and a first rating or first print and now that card individually may be worth more than majority of other cards but that doesn't mean it's a multi-thousand dollar card that means it has some high significant value now, there are people known for building high competition decks for those players that like to flex on other people and build a massive, insane, old-school-style deck that will literally just over-savagely destroy people. Now, those decks are where that's worth, like, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 because you get, like, a bunch of different cards that are very valuable, etc. Now, whether or not those are player deck cards or just, like, decks that they just have for personal, you know, interest, yada, 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 yada. That's entirely dependent, and there's always different markets going on. Meaning, like, that card I showed you, it's, it goes around between fake ones from the freaking five bucks, which drops market value, between 150 I've seen. And that's being sold on multiple websites. So if I get that graded, though, I have not seen a graded version of that card. And now there is a rare version of that card that's misprints and other things like that that increase value dramatically. That's why if you think you have something like that, you want to collect it, put it aside, and get all your grades graded at one time. Because the more cards you get graded, the cheaper it is for you because it costs them money. Yeah, no worries, no worries. All right. Now that we got those open, except the last one, let's get into some of these. All right, right here. That'd be sick if we pulled this guy, right, buds? Ooh, right here. Get that out of the way. First one. Ooh, we got a nice little cool fiend. Here, let me get this a little bit better situated. It's gonna piss me off a little bit. Because now that my camera view is all totally disrupted, we're gonna do it like this. Is that right there? I must ruin some cards for me. Honestly, uh, you may have a fake. You may not. It could be an impressionable indent. If there's any indents or any features or your fingers that touch it, that grease points or anything like that, it drops market value down immediately. So I would just keep it and just sit on it for a long time. Because, honestly, in, with cards being as popular as they are right now, there's a lot of people who have been collecting cards for a long time that are in very mint, flawless condition. Those cards are going to sell before any other ones. Unless you sell that card for 20 bucks. And, uh, there, honestly, not too many people want to buy cards that aren't graded. If it's not a graded card, that you're going to have the people that want to pay actual money lose interest, honestly. Alright, so, we're going to do it old school. Ready, boys? Got a nice little coffin. 2020s. These are all 2020s out of this box. 
You got out of a hidden fates sin. All right, see, that's pretty new too. So circular, uh, if that's like through the hidden fates and stuff, that those reprints could be worth nothing. You know, it could be worth a dollar. So you literally got to go through a bunch of in-depth research. That's why you want to go to a professional who knows what they're doing. It will take them a few weeks to get information, and they'll literally let you know if your card's worth anything or not. Which, it could be a waste of money, to be completely honest. It's pretty decent. I like old school cards. Kofin. <laughs> little, little dim. What the heck? This guy looks dope. Bit different. To mind my dirty nails. I was working. Ooh, 60 out of 192. That's not bad. A little skinks. My little... My little... I can't say that word. Never mind. Sandy Gasks. Okay, that's pretty decent. Oh, this one's cool. I like that. That's like a real... That's like an I Spy book kind of color. Or cover. That one's cool. Yeah, but see, see, bro, then again, not trying to be mean, if people go out of the way to message people, do you know how many people get, like, for example, because I'm a streamer, dude, I get so many fake, like, follow bots, all this other stuff all the time, and I'm not trying to discourage anybody, ooh, I see a holographic, I just messed something up, um, I don't want to discourage anybody, you just always have to take in the meaning and understanding that any point in given time, you can get ripped off yourself, you want to go through reliable people, people that are known for certain things and even then chances are there's probably 50 more people out there trying to do the same thing you're doing you know what i mean so that's why i was saying you always want to get certain things graded you want to get certain things done with cards so it's authenticated so by a legitimate person that went through college and all this stuff has the background the documentation all the stuff that can literally document the card for proper stuff so you guys do know that's a big big clause so a lot of people be like, oh, yeah, dude, your car's worth nothing. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you an extra 20 bucks, though, just because I like the card and I want it. And they turned around and sold your card because it may be worth something. Don't trust people online. I like that. Roly coldy. An Applin? What the? What? That's different. Whoa, 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 we whoa. All right, that's our first holographic. That's a... That one's different. Oh, we got a second holo right back after? No way. Let's get it. Ooh, this one's sick. Look at this Weasley. Mmm, bud. Look at that one. This is a good Galarian, too. But this is a 2020. I like that texture in the holographic print. That's really cool. So we pulled two hollows. Good stuff. And the rest is going to be some energy cards and random. All right. Let's leave these bad puppies. Ooh. Got another fire energy. Sweet. We're going to keep the energy cards in all one pile. Just so we get it easily separate and all right next up ooh, we got another mask here in 11 print they're coming out with a lot of new additions of pokemon that i've never seen bro if i get a gx next pack i'll freak out watch that's gonna be the pack trust me that one was put up on top of all the other cards separately and i was like mm. Mm. dang a lot of new, a lot of new Pokemon. Honestly, I can't wait to start playing some of these. I'm gonna get some um, live streams for you guys too. Charcoal. It's a car charcoal. Not trying to rag on Pokemon. That's kind of a stupid Pokemon. Well, I got Roly Coley in this one too. So I got, I got the second evolution. So I got stage one, stage two. That's a good. That's good now. Okay, so now how we're going to separate these cards, what I do, I always sit a holographic right there, or like a couple little things. That guy's going right there. Boom. Separated those cards. All right. One second, boys. Get the rest of this ripped off. 
trying not to show you guys the code. I messed up the front. Come on, we need a GX. All right, this is an elite trainer's box. Honestly, if I don't get one, I'm not gonna be butt hurt. That would just be dope. You know what I mean? We're gonna do it old school. Flip up. Ooh, that one looks dope. Bro, a rainbow rare will be insane. Will be insane. That's a cool uncommon. Nat 2. Nat 2. Not my tissue. It's Nat 2's, dudes. That'd be cool if I get a second vol form. Ooh, Electroid? That's sick. That's sick. I love classic Pokemon, dude. This new, this new art is just impressionably dope. Ugh. Nostalgia, I swear. Being 25 has its perks sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, a Skyla trainer card. Search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Ah. Oh. But I have to play a supporter doing this. Two to three GX, EX, or V cards? Bro, we'll see, man. If I do, that will be literally insane. All right. That's a cool trainer. I like that one. So when I go through my cards, I keep usually two separate piles. I usually have my trainers and um, energies together, considering you usually don't get too much energies. Oh, this card feels a little bit more different. Energy, that's why. I knew it felt different. Non-sponsor towards rain. Um, for those that are healthy and drink energy drinks and also do stuff, don't drink energy drinks. Drink something that's actually made for your body in a way that's actually like sports wise and if you're not 18 or older and you shouldn't have that consumption anyways yada 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 you usually get two to five from them Ooh, what's the highest card you pulled do you think of the 2020s this is this is my first time first time getting some 2020s i got a couple i got a i got some surprises after this though what's good jonathan wilden welcome to the stream Ooh. <gasps> oh, let's go! You called it, Dylan. Let's go! Oh, too bad that's not a gold star, though. Too bad that's not a gold star. Immediate sleeve. Oh, buds. Oh. You called it. And too bad that's not a first edition. Uh, you know how satisfying that feeling is, dude. <laughs> you called it. Bud, can, can we get some uh, smash the likes for some more luck? Holy shit. Look at my little ginger beard, dude. My good luck little stuff in the say, buds. Oh, okay. Well, we pulled it. Mmm. Mmm. A Mewtwo? Dude, Mewtwo's are good. Dude, a cover jaw. That one's sick. Oh, my God. Full hollow. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh, my God. Can we get another hollow in a row? Another one. Let's go. Two in a row, but not a GX. That's still nice. That's still nice. Wait, wait. What the fuck? Okay, that's a circle. I was like, wait, okay, nice. Okay, I surprised myself right there on that one. So, what's the what's the broken myth? I seen this one guy, I forgot his name, honestly. I should feel like a dick. He's a very big Pokemon person on YouTube. And there's like a rule of thumb with a lot of these Pokemon cards. It's like, a, 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 out of 10, usually you would pull one GX, I guess. Usually. Now, whether or not if you pull, if I'm correct, the Golden Star GX version of the full holographic, that's where the Big Bang is. I'm pretty sure. But hold me if I'm wrong. Let's go. flip it a dip it a Toxel. Hmm. Getting a lot of basic Pokemon today. What, some I've never seen, honestly. Boom. Bronzel. 
Flip it to Penny, heads or tail? Brownie will tell you. Another coffin. Sick. Sick. Okay. Boom. Ooh, Wingdoll. I've actually... I do not have this version of him yet. That's pretty... That's pretty nice. Can't believe I pulled that GX card, though. Can't believe it. That's a... That's dope. That's dope. Oh, no. I didn't get into Pokemon... Just get into Pokemon, bro. I used... I had so many cards... And I know for a fact, I had the cards that you guys have all seen on the internet. I was a big nerd. But this, Yu-Gi-Oh! and fucking um, Bionicles. I still have Pokemon cards in a storage somewhere. And then Energy. Oh, new, a Nose Pass. Sick. Honestly, adulting, too. You really don't have too much time to sit down and watch, like, a bunch of shit. Especially when I have my screen, stream schedule as tightly woven as you guys know i do no it's more of a re-nostalgia for me honestly i fucking and since quarantine's going on i have nothing better to do except to get back into my old roots and honestly i really want to go and find my old Holo full holographics and stuff like that because I have a couple Japanese Pokemon or I have a couple Japanese Pikachus that are those trainers and shit like that that aren't fakes, you know and I got a story to tell you guys so one time I was at the dump, right my cousins and stuff because the dump lived by their house and we had walked through the back side of this trail that would go to the waterfalls we passed this, like, dump well, people would just go, obviously just go dump off stuff all the time, you know because they were shitty people without going in pain on the sides of the backside of the dump. Well, one day we found a whole big old freaking bag of Pokemon cards. I am kid you not, I probably traded over 500 energy cards for like half the cards I had at that point. And I had like a half a shoebox full of holographics. And I, I majority of those cards we found were just like shitty energy cards. They were in good condition too. Nothing was wrong with them and other cards as well, you know. So I ended up trading all those for the Pokemon cards that I maintained. And through like playing people and stuff, we would play for cards and whatnot as kids and i've collected a lot of valuable cards that i know are sitting somewhere or just lost like majority of everybody else boom and as far as pokemon goes too i haven't watched a lot of the new stuff at all i stopped basically after like ash died before they started changing like everything that's cool ndd Reminds me of an Australian Pokemon, my ear burning scarf. Fire Pokemon attached to this activated spot. Damage is caused by opponent's attack. Even if knocked out, the attack of Pokemon is now burned. That's unique. I like that. Ooh. Okay. PewDiePie. Oh my god, what will he get? You want to see what we just got, PewDiePie kid? Here, I'll show you. I like that one. Shush up. Look what we just pulled. Whoa! And Dylan called it too, dog. Mm -hmm. Dude, see, that's how I feel too. Like, if I go through storage and I don't have my the Charmander that I know I have, and I, I, didn't, I didn't, never fucking realized my Japanese um, trainer, Pokemon trainer, was worth any money until I went through and I was watching all these videos and shit, and I was like, bro, no way. I was like, dude, my, my YouTube would love if I got back into Pokemon. Because I have hard, actual nostalgia. I know a lot of shit about it. I used to play out the fucking ass. I have hardcore favorited characters. I have certain deck combinations that I love. Which come to find out they're illegal to play in tournaments because they're too fucking strong. So it's like, oh, holy, holy, holy. Ugh. And I know they're sitting around in one of uh, the storages we have. Let's see what we get, baby. Ah, energies are all right. Energies are all right. Can we get another GX? Can we get another GX or EX? Or full hollow? No. An uncommon. Electrover. That looks dope. It looks like Pikachu on roids. <laughs> Roid, Roidachu. Dude, me too, honestly. That's part of the thing. I, I realize Twitch has done a lot with Pokemon this last like month. And they're creating forms of online player versus player. 
Pokemon tournaments. So that's going to be super fucking sick. And it'll be a digital dice and a digital freaking fl uh, coin flip. And so like that will be really cool. And it's not going to be like the di digital card game. You know what I mean? It's going to be like actual <coughs> playing. Like how you see magic being competed and stuff for giant <coughs> tournaments. Like that's what we're going for. And like I'm going to have like full holographic decks and stuff eventually. <laughs> I'll be that guy. <sighs> Another coffin. Ooh, we got a f we got a holographic coffin though. The Logan Paul thing was the highest viewed Pokemon stream. Dude, I can see that, bro. I really can. That's a that's cool. So I have three coffins now. One holographic. So now I'm going to use those other two as player card decks cards, and I'm not going to use this one. Unless, come to find out, this is only like a $3 card. Or it will never be past that value. Meh. We'll, just, we'll, we'll maybe play with that. Yeah, that was pretty crazy though, honestly. Bro, see, and that's one thing that I hate, okay? There's a, there's a lot of people ripping people off right now with a lot of this shit. So that's why I was saying earlier, I'm not ragging on anybody. I'm not saying, oh, you found that one guy you think your car's going to sold or anything. Just watch your awareness because people are ripping people off left and fucking right right now, dude. So many cards are getting sold that are fakes. Come on. If they're not in a plastic box and you're spending more than $100... And that person's excuse is because they don't have the money to do that. When it costs them a dollar to get, like, at least three or four cards graded and you spend $15 and you get, like, a few hundred or, like, $8 and they'll do, like, 100 plus. It would be worth it to me to get it graded. It's kind of suspicious at that point. It makes me think it's fake. You know what I mean? Okay. Come on. We got to have the look. We're gonna have the luck and dirt. Luck and dirt. Oh, <gasps> no way. Dude. Oh my fucking god. I'm sleeping. This. this is my favorite fucking Pokemon. Cider. Sai Sai. And it's a fourth print, too. That's cool. Dude, see? It's not even a holographic. And this is gonna be one of the ones. I mean, I don't even play with just because I love him so fucking much unless I get another version or a holographic. Yeah, let's get a holographic so we can play with this guy. Come on. It's just that's common sense, right? Yeah. Alrighty. Come on. We got one holographic coughing out of that. So that's not too entirely bad. But let's just try to see if we get another. Nope. It's like Psypoke. That's cool. Deck, put it in your hand, then shove your deck. Find a friend. There's a lot of player team based Pokemon be coming out, I've realized. Oh, I got like four of these guys now. Glorian, Dark and Muda. Wait, what? I don't think I have that. I don't have that background print though. I don't think I have 47 in it. Bippity boppity a Pidov. Nice. Now we can activate to Pidovi. His stage one. Sweet. Make sure to remember that. And then they... Oh, no. Oh, we got a Snover. That's cool. I shall find a crew. <laughs> Beat. <laughs> uh, uh, just that tack by itself. And then it's 20. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get another GX. Mark your words. Let's see it, boys. Let's see it. Oh my goodness. Let's get that one. That one's actually going worth some money right now, I see. You guys are going to be fucking honestly probably poop yourself because I spent like a... I spent like $80 on Pokemon cards today. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay. I'm going to have dudes. All right, by the way, make sure. Ready? Does anybody play Pokemon online? Let me know now. I'm going to do this out now, right now. And if you guys have a GX, you'll unlock a digital GX. I'm going to show this for a few seconds. If not, make sure to mark this 34 minutes into the stream and come back into it when this is over.
to get the code. And if you're watching this and you're and I'm not live and nobody's got this code, go ahead, try. It may be lucky. Boom. That's the code, which we will mark this one as a possibly used. So this one will go up for another free one at another minch time if nobody claims this. Once again, boom, boom, boom. Haven't seen it. Got to rewatch. All right. Oh, we got to remark that. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. You're watching out over me. Streamer garbage can. I recommend having one. So when you throw it, have sneakers and stuff, just throw it away. Don't collect garbage desk. GX. No. Ooh. Another one. It's not that I don't like this Pokemon. I just feel like they were losing a little bit of creativity when they made this card. Still a pretty cool card, though. I, I will re repetitively give them that. And me having so many doubles will allow me to actually build a deck and trade other cards for people's. Ooh, we got the second version of them. That's cool. It reminds me of that one guy from Nipmot Man. The old school freaking, um, what is it? GameCube game. What are we gonna pull, boys? If I pull if I pull one of the crazy new freaking expensive cards, boys, I, anybody here right now, I'll donate money to. If we get it sold. Mark my words. <laughs> Boom! Oh man. That's a diff no, I, I already got the same printing. That one's pretty cool though. It's different. Oh no. Card pile stack's starting to get too high. I'm going to have to start making another stack right here. Energy. Okay, you ready? This is the one, right? This is the one. Oh, man. Arcane? Mm -hmm. That's a rare? Non-holographic? I know the two th or 2005 version of this is worth like 60 bucks. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit this right here and there, just so, yeah, my, my rares are separated. Oh, this feels like a holograph, oh, oh, GX, no, but, oh, another Applin. This one must be really not worth that much at all. Honestly, it probably really isn't. Considering these are 2020s as well. You can obviously get these graded and save these. Or you can make a really cool pack. Hmm. Come on. Two in a row. Two in a row. Nope. Another broccoli. That's a that's a really coley. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now we got. So now we can activate both of those with the first forms. Or stage ones, actually. Let's go! Uh, wait. We're really getting this many duplicates out of this pack? If I was, like, a little kid, I'd be a little bit butthurt at this point. Honestly. I like having more duplicates. Especially since a couple of the people I know would play Pokemon with me. So, yeah. Rikiku! Ooh, a Shinx. That's a different version. That one looks adorable. <laughs> Lipid dimp. <laughs> really? That's really his name? <laughs> really? And he has a beat attack too? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Another coffin. You should do card tricks so the rare is the last. What's that? Is, isn't that the fourth in? What's the card trick? I'll get the next pack set up right now. I forgot. 
I think it's the, what was it? When the energy card's in, it's right after the energy card. So I think it's after the energy card's face. Set four more packs to open. We're about halfway through right now. Some packs is four, some packs is three. All right, we're going to do it. Hey, yo, Dylan, if you play Pokemon online, let me know. I'll give you that code real quick. If you had no chance to get it. One, two, three, four. Split energy at the bottom. We're just going to go ahead already. Get the energy out of the way. It is the fourth. So it's the fifth card in. The pinning. We'll see how this works. <laughs> so you were correct. All right, you do? All right, Betsy, here you go, bro. Oh, you don't? All right, all right, bet, bet. I'll give you a couple extra leaderboard points. Cause your luck got me on that one, dude. That GX card, buddy. <laughs> what am I going to get? I don't know. GX? Oh, let's go! A valley boom! Oh, oh, I thought that was a gold. I thought that was a gold. Oh my god, my heart just dropped. I thought that was a gold star, bro. Wait, what does the holographic star mean? Ooh. There we go. There we go, boys. We got two GX cards in this one Elite Trainer Box? The odds. Okay, so if you open 10 packs, and usually if you get an expensive pack set, you know, I'm talking about like the $20, 30 $40 packs, I think... Okay, so I'll pull, the, I'll pull five and put that one on the bottom. That's what we'll do. My bad. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, nostalgia. It's creeping down my spine. Oh, my bad. We'll do it with the next rotation. Oh, my God, dudes. Okay, buds. Um, We'll do a scheduling, too. After the surprise, after the end of this stream. Um, You guys will see. We'll be going alive here after this ends again. And we may save something else for tomorrow. But I will be doing a revealing here within the week or maybe tomorrow or maybe later. Uh, we'll do like some revealing. You're about to get two in a row in another pack. Bro, let's freaking hope. Am I going to get two? If, am I going to get another holographic though? <gasps> Boom. Oh. Ooh, I do not have this heat more. And that one looks fucking dope. I have the inside holographic heat more. Now I have both versions of them. That is fucking titties, dude. Hopefully I don't get demonetized. This is a family-friendly stream. I forgot. I marked it as that. This is made for kids. My bad. Any parents out there listening to that? My bad. Doesn't usually happen. Ooh, dude. This is a sick version of Heatmore. I don't know about you guys, but th right there, that just dope, bro. That just dope. There's a chance you can get two. Yeah, I got the hollow and reverse hollow now. And I'm pretty sure it's the same print, but different design. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like the same picture, except for, like, the shading and the lighting, and it's different. Oh, that's a shadowless! That's a shadow list, boys. Look at that. Now, that's what I was talking about earlier. See how there's no shadow underneath it? Now, this could be worth more than the average one. This could be a $20 card. This actually can. See that? Something a little... Think about when you're looking at some cards like that. And when you guys have a job and other stuff, stuff pays off when you can go and spend money on yourself for just because you feel like it. And you're like, you know what? I can. <laughs> so let's do it. Boom! Ooh, a little toxel. Whoa! Whoa! 
An energy cat, like salamander meow looking dude. I like him. I'm gonna add him in my energy card playing deck. Okay. Okay. Boom. Bronzor. I already got one of him. Not too shabby though. Not gonna complain. It's nice to have duplicates to trade out for other ones so you could brighten your dick. Four Kofings now. And one Elite Trainer's box. I'm not feeling too happy about that. I'm not trying to rush, but ooh. That would be... I already have a... Dude, alright. I already have an Armarius deck. So... I have had like six Wingles now. I may just start giving these out randomly in some like subscriber packages when I do like the Pokemon painting that everybody's requesting that I do since I am very strategic. Are you going to do these uh, like every few days or something or is it a special stream? I'm going to try to be doing these like once a week at least. I'm going to be trying to get like a box like this or something. Spend like at least 30, 40 bucks on a good set. Because I like gambling, and I'm trying not to go to the casino as much until I have, like, a $1,000 saved up for the casino, because we're going to be doing something really big, which will be a live event, and you guys will, like, be seeing, like, a special giveaway and a bunch of stuff. Not trying to ruin the next time I can do this, but we're going to have a bunch of stuff be going on while that's happening. But while, my, uh, while on the side, investing myself in my little side hobbies, especially when there's a given chance that there's a rarity and other cards to be worth value, to me, that's, like, a little small form of gambling, plus it's a little tiny little bit of nostalgia that i've regained and it's turned into a lot of nostalgia honestly so yes i'll be doing this like every week or two weeks dependent on what box we get or if it's just a car a couple card pack on openings we just may do like a couple card pack on openings all right let's see what we get Ooh, and oh a nose pass huh easter island heads basically those guys are kind of fun phony those guys are kind of phony Oh man, okay. We're gonna have to do this. I'm getting so many cards everywhere. Okay. All right, got a different version of this guy. It's not a rare or anything. That's cool. I wonder if we can get the magical golden star though, boys. Will we chase that? Electroid? We actually have another one of those. Um, surprisingly, since we have three more card packs left, uh, I'm kind of a little bit confused as to why we're getting so many duplicates. My hypothesis is now being a little bit more confusing. Yes, I've gotten two Vs. So, if we've gotten two Vs, but we've gotten so many duplicates, so that means in a, tra in a trainer's box, if you're going to consistently get duplicates of a multiple ratioed card and you're still getting different versions i think we're gonna get it yeah i think we're gonna get another one in the next pack boom we do another another skyla see another duplicate okay so watch this is the pack save for last that was just that wait whoa 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 yes almost messing stuff up okay so that one just came out of that pack Or this GX just came out of this one, actually. That one. So we'll save that one for last. I guarantee you that's going to be another GX. <sighs> Did I get a GX out of this one? Or that one? I don't remember. Left or right? Pick, real quick. Hmm. Because I feel like whichever ones I'm going to open... That's what I'm thinking, like... I've never seen this many duplicates in the in elite box, and honestly, if I got this as a birthday present, if I was like a little kid or something, dude, I'd be wildly kind of butt hurt, man. Hmm. Any, many, miny, mo, Pokemon said to pick the left. <laughs> All right, Dylan, left. Let's see it. Quality brought to you by iPhone 11 S Pro. Take the high notes resolution with you anywhere. <sighs> Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that felt different. Okay. 
Okay, now let's save the best for last this time. Clem, are you gonna do it? All right, but hey, okay, so listen, on that Charizard card, though, if you do have something of it that it's worth some money, okay? If you don't have some sleeves, get some sleeves from the dollar store or something, or at least put it in a nice little box or something, just so you know the value is not going to get diminished if something were to accidentally fall on it or get wet. Secondly, be careful of who you trust if you are going to try to have so send somebody your card for them to look at it. If they're not a real website or an authenticator that's registered on an authenticator place like TCG.com, Trading Card Games, .com, features in all these ones and they have raters that you could send it to them personally and they have actually really good deals and stuff as well now they can actually give you a rating on your card if, if it's a fake version or whatever they'll let you know and they'll say like it could be anywhere between a five rating to like let's say a seven that's your average now that can potentially be worth 50 to i think what is it 300 dollars for that rating now it makes it the higher rating or maybe not to 300 maybe to 250 now if it's anywhere between maybe maybe past the seven rating that's in really good condition. Technically, if it goes the eight to a nine, which is damn near mint condition, um, that could potentially make an increase in the card versus the hundred to two hundred. So just make sure you don't, you know, you like get up. Yeah, just watch out for people. I got them in a champions path pack, like two hundred of them, and I have binders with my cards in it. All right, bet. But see, then again, like I said, reprints and pre-prints and all these other prints I've learned have a big contrast in the value of cards. Some of the cards I think are worth money probably may not be worth as much. They may be worth way more. That's why I don't want to guarantee hearing the internet and trusting people off the internet unless I, like, for example, any card shop that you have around you usually will have an authenticator person there. You can take your cards to them. They'll be like, okay, yeah, dude, we'll see you in an hour. You know, make sure to take pictures of every single card you have. Let's make sure to know, you know, like, hey, I know what cards I have. Blah, 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 blah. I want these ones to be seen, etc. And they'll rate them for you. And if you get them graded, blah, 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 blah. That will increase the actual, like, value of the components worth of your card tenfold. That's what you're looking for. All right, here we go. Two packs left. Six packs in. Here we is double. Okay, if we get if we get a holographic right here, we get a holographic, boys. We have a GX or V or something in this pack, or a really good one. Boom. Oh, what was I saying? What was I saying in my mind? Big brain capabilities, but it's not a rare. It's like Captain Barbocha. Captain Barbocha. The flying majestic floating Pokemon with a series of intangible abilities with only a low crappy attack of 10 damage. Razor Fen, he just smacks you like a shark. Man. All right. So what's the hypothesis we're coming up? Why is your camera almost pointing at the ceiling? It's because the way I had it when I was just putting that sleeve in and I was being very lazy. Shush up. I know. I know. I gave you treats oh. and shit, dude. Back up. I know. I love you. Stop it. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's get this rest of it going. So I think the hypothesis is, since we've had, I think what? We've had at least like 13 cards that were duplicates, right? So if we've had these 13 cards that were duplicates, and I've already pulled GX, and I've already pulled this amount of holographics out of six... packs we're either getting double return to holographics for the increase for over dramatically duplicates and triplicates and quads of at least six cards now separate different duplicates and triples and stuff like that so either we're going to get a mass amount of these or another gx in this collector's box or in this elite trainer box or something really weird's going on right here we're going to pull something really high we still got two more packs left all right, Skibbly, another freaking Wingle. What do you freaking know, Charles? I told you guys, more and more duplicates. This is the third Wingle, dude. The third one. Not getting upset. I think I'm forming a hypothesis here. Second nose pass or third. Not entirely too sure at this point. So many doubles. So many doubles. 
That's not even, uh, that's a different version of Voltorb I have. So now I have, I think, six Voltorbs total out of the other ones I opened the past couple of days ago. Or like two weeks ago. I like this one though. Voltorb's OG. I like the electric Voltorb. He's fucking a goat, in my opinion. Oh, Cleaver. That's a cool one. They brought him back. I thought this Pokemon got banned. Same with Jigglypuff from competing. Exactly. That's why I pulled that one away. That pack at the top, right? Look. The way it was separated, the cards were all sitting right there, right? And then it was just chilling right here, inside of here. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? What? Okay, why are you going to put it like that? That's weird. All right. Skiddly boop. A stunky. What? Owl skunk buttinian. That is what we have here. A stunky. A skunk owl butt cheek chin looking center pied firefox Pokemon. Very interesting. <laughs> um that's a new one for me. Okay. Not a rare though, so you know, hey, we've only gotten one rare. One rare. Out of all of these, we've gotten commons, maybe three uncommons. We've pulled that GX, or V, actually, my bad. That V, keep those guys together. Oh, I just realized, we pulled the GX version of him. I was going to comment earlier, that would be cool if we pulled him. I should have. People would have been like, oh yeah, oh, then I pulled my classic Scyther, I love him. Yeah, he's not a rare, he's a very, he's literally common, but he's fucking dope. Alright. Hey! Luxio? Alright. Now I have a second form of him. That's pretty cool, though. Top entry. Uh, your bench is full, and then you put it in your hand, and you put it in your branch. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm getting a lot of energies. <sighs> Come on. Boom! Another trainer. Third Skyla. What are we talking about, boys? See? See? I think our I think our little um analysis is coming true. Whoop. A beware, a cute, amazing panda. That's cool. Evolution GX, dude. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Maybe that pack, the last pack with that sleeve underneath it, buddy. All right, we got down to the last two. Energy card. Ready? Oh! Oh! Sh oh! Schmeisla, dude! Oh! <laughs> What? Dudes, the fucking hype right now. Are you kidding me? and I'm shaky now. What's the last pack, boys? And by the way, um, if you guys don't notice, the, my other cards packs were not as loose as these ones. If you cannot tell, there is a mass amount of extra room, so you do not crevice or increase the card. But what's up, man? What's up, I recommend getting actual Pokemon cards, or they have extended sleeve trading card card sleeves. Get some of those so you don't crevice your cards, or you don't entangle your corners by putting them in. I probably sh Like, really? That just happened, dude? Well, may good luck come to you guys. <laughs> Alrighty then. So. 
That form's a form of him. How much did I pay for it? You guys want to know? You did. <laughs> the fuck? Boy, I mean, these are 2020 cards. Don't get me wrong. But the next five years, these cards could be worth some money. Actually, I think I said GX or EX, but that's I mean, it's better. It's VMAX. It's like you broke that cherry to the max. No pun intended. Woo! All right, you guys ready? For the five card ransom. One, two, three, four, five. My heart sunk on that one like a not good card feeling. Guys, ready? <laughs> We're getting lucky as shit. Okay. Oh, another at my bad. Okay, it didn't happen. Yeah, I paid like 30-something 30 some, 30 after tax. I'm pretty sure. But my Walmart sometimes charges for these boxes higher. It was either 38 after tax, I think. It was like $5 more at Walmart than it was like at Target. You know what I mean? But I was at Walmart, so what the fuck ever. All right, so the myth, the legend, hollow. We got it. I'm not to. I'm not to. I do not have you, not to. I don't think I have one holographic psychic Pokemon. So... Is our theory correct going on right here? If I pull the, the rarest card of the 2020s, I will give out one of these cards graded to someone. A 10 for... Th yeah, yeah. That stuff happens, buddy. It does. So, either if, if... All right, so if we experience a lot of dupe kits after this... Do, you know what? If, if we get the rarest card out of this, it's worth more. It's just as much as the Charmander. If, if I do, I will do a thing where I will give it out to a subscriber. But it'll be, like, it will be only, like, somebody on one of the Pokemon things. You know what I mean? Not somebody that has no love for Pokemon. Because somebody that has love for it will respect that card. And maybe that will help somebody afford a house in the future. If you or that said individual were to hold on to it for a long period of time. You never know. A B Max though, girl, that's dope. <laughs> oh my god, buds. <laughs> okay. So hypothesis is going. Should we get another double? Double. Oh no. I don't have this guy yet. And I love this. So they brought him back. Looks like he has a different version. That looks like a scene from Pokemon. But then they blew him up like as if he's a huge one. Looks like an overblown scene. You know what I mean? That's pretty freaking cool. Right, I'm not having enough room for some stuff up here. One second. Well, I'm getting more hype for you getting the cards than me. <laughs> Hey, bro, it happens. Trust me, dude. Let's go, though, because that's just the way it is. Pokemon, like, I, I get hyped for... I don't know how to handle hype. Honestly, I feel very awkward with it, to be completely honest. <laughs> you guys are probably like, dude, you're not being as hyped as I would have been if I opened it or, you know what I mean? Like, that's probably a lot of reason why a lot of people aren't viewing into the stream because of that. We got three already. Okay, bud. Okay. You guys, you know I could talk like corpse too, right? That's, that's how we dox. It's really easy. Especially if you just yell a lot that night and you wake up the next morning and your voice sounds the crap. <laughs> okay, look. We got one more pack left. Oh, uh, yeah, trust me. Um, I'm probably going to... I'm going to disable stream elements today. Try to. That's cool, though. We're getting more doubles. So you know what that means, boys. 
think we're gonna pull one out of it we got one more pack left and i got something else expensively exclusive to show you guys boom Ooh, another clean fairy okay that's a good sign I, I i know it's the second one but that's a good sign so we already got a bunch of duplicates probably got at least 13 14 different cards of du duplicates but look we got a v max and we got two v's dude okay so so and we got like a couple shadow list hollow foil full, full hollow foils too so you know it's getting a little hairy all right ready boom oh that's cool they brought him back man no dad that's cool to see a lot of the OG mons. What's up? I didn't know you like Pokemon flashcards reacts. Oh yeah, bro. I'm a I'm a nerd, dude. Honestly, and I if it's quarantine, I have so much time. It's better to buy some Pokemon cards than to buy you know a giant pack of beer, right, boys? Which I, I mean, I mean, like you guys probably love to see me drunk anyways on stream, but I'm getting back into Pokemon too because we're gonna go on Twitch and do some live battles against some motherfuckers. Oh, dude, um, mofos, my bad. I don't know what the VMAX is, but if you get another GX or, e or V, you got your money back. All right. Pretty sure VMAX is one of those rare ones, bro. Isn't VMAX the one that's, like, sh not shown on these, but it's shown on the advertisement for these? You know what I mean? Because the VMAX version is of him, right? Because normal V would be him. If I'm, if I'm correct... If I'm correct, I could be a little bit wrong. All right, bet. But no, this is a nostalgic experience for me, though, Flash. And uh, we're going to be getting back into this every week or two weeks. We're going to be doing more videos like this. And there'll be lives every time. So you guys get experience the hype with your boy. And we got uh, we got an algorithm going on here that we've built. Litwick. Okay. It's funny to see him return. That's the worst. Yeah, see, it, we just got to see the value rating. And then, like, here in the next year or so, they're going to increase or decrease. Boom. Durant, no. Yeah, yeah. It's me, Little Squidge. We do a switch my name. Oh, what's good? I remember you. Durant. Mm. The rude stand storm. Dance, dance, dance. Oh, buddies, we're getting down to them. Oh, shawnee. Ooh, a Galar mine. Okay. Retreat bot cost of Pokemon. That's kind of okay. So that's a stadium trainer card. <clears throat> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There was literally only two more cards. Did I just... Alright, that's not our card alarms. So that's okay. I think I just summoned a card of an existence! Lambre. Okay. Okay. One second. No. I'm gonna make sure somebody's not breaking into my neighbors. Nope. They just disabled their alarm, so they probably couldn't find their keys. I was getting a little worried. I was like, uh, that's going for a minute, and I would feel like a guilty human being if, you know, I have, like, you know, stuff like this guy right here that can just fucking jabby dabby stabby stabby and these swords over right there and then other various things and, you know, martial arts stuff that I know, you know, yeah. Okay, back to it. All right. The moment you've all been waiting for. So this feels weird. For those that are just retuning back in, I pulled about like 14, 13, maybe even 20 duplicates, okay? When we started doing that, we started pulling more holographics than we have for the eight packs that I had, okay? So, with this given ratio, we've been getting more rares dependent on the duplicates we're receiving. 
So I'm pretty sure with the 2020 packs, you know what I mean, the Elite Trainer packs, the odds, if you get a situation like me that's happening right now, that's where you're going to get your VMAX cards and whatnot. With a better variation and chance if you're getting your doubles and triples. Because theoretically, if this is printing them all out and putting them in the packs, yada, 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 the packing orders, all this other stuff, however they're technically doing their stuff, if it is on a random generated system, this is something that's not supposed to be happening right here. So, makes me lead to believe we're going to get one more of these. So we got one more pack left. So the last card of this pack, I'm doing the one, two, three, four, five trick, or something crazy, or we're gonna get a gold, a gold star, any gold star. I don't even care if it's freaking holographic, half hollow, freak inside hollow, shadowless. If we get a gold star card, that's that's the one in a million. Something weird's going on here, dudes. You ready? Shablam! No, we got Apple Tune now. Okay. That's probably only my fourth rare ho internal holographic. And honestly, look at the condition of this card. This card looks pretty freaking weirdly warped. Okay? And I'm not happy about the pack. However, they packaged that and made this card less of a diminished value towards me personally. Since we got so much Applins, um, it's only given fact that I guess, you know, if this card's not going to be too worth rated anything, we'll probably end up using this as a playing player's deck card in tournaments on Twitch. If YouTube features them here, we'll be doing it on YouTube as well. So, now here's our theory. If we've gotten this many holographics, you know, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight holographics. We still have one more pack. Oh, sorry. More than that, eight nine ten holographics my personal go to favorite scyther it's not holographic or anything it's just my favorite pokemon him pikachu and charmander and squirtle and a bunch of other poor pokemon um and we got two v's and one v maxed i have a feeling since theoretically should have been having as many of these duplicates at all especially in a in a trainer box set so a trainer box set's gonna allow you to play obviously right but then it's gonna give you certain duplicates maybe one or two like maybe trainer cards i could see there being a lot of trainer cards maybe i could see there being two separate pokemon because you know maybe you wanted to get stage two out but well, we got stage two of apple tree right so now that we have about two apples we actually have four of them so we have four of the Apple Pokemon, we got the Stage 1 Evolution. But we don't have any Stage 2s for the remainder of the duplicates. Meaning that that's not a deck set up to be playing with. Because theoretically, you would need at least a few of the same Pokemon to really give that opportunity of your, for your Pokemon. Unless you have a Pokemon that summon or res can, res can basically re-res Pokemon. You know, or bring them back into play. If you have that, then you could obviously chance it and go into a higher stage, you know, from a Charizard to a Charizard. Or, you know, a Charmander to a higher form of Char... Charizard. Or Charizard, sorry. Yeah, it's very interesting. I'm still upset about that card, bro. You can literally see the difference in the whole freaking stack. All right. I do this too for two reasons, okay guys? One, you do not cut your cards if you make sure they are folded down at the bottom and you don't diminish value. And then if you do it with a very sharp knife, you make it very clean where you go rip. And you can actually go fold and resell Pokemon cards if you do not have sleep case. Scoop. And this card pack, by the way, was sitting on top in a very unique, weird manner. Uh, I know, I really can't complain. I got some really great pulls for this unboxing. Honestly, I got my monies back. So, given the fact with other holographics that are averagely probably worth 50 cents to a dollar, depending if I sell them in a pack to rated 15 to 20 dollars for the pack condition of those, plus that, I'd probably at least maybe double the money. 
But technically, it's not about the value of the profit for me at this point. It's regaining nostalgia and trying to establish a master deck. Which I have to make sure I have cards that are going to be able to legally play. You know? I can see it. You're going to have insane cards. Bro, see? I, that's what I'm going for. I want that insane master deck. I want to be an established, a distinguished player... If Twitch is going to try to bring Pokemon that big. Because I'm an OG when it comes to certain things like that. And the way I just think about it and design it in my head. Do you like how you see the MC squared and all the things come start popping up? Those memes and the freaking all that stuff. You know? That's how I perceive the way I... I perceive it's like chess. You know, I'm very skilled in games like that. As you guys see, when I stream those games and certain things like that. You guys are like, bro, you fucking goaded is this. What the fuck? Why do you play this more than COD? And you know, like... I get those responses all, all the time. I mean, I predicted every card he got. It's me, the predictor. <laughs> Bro, you did. You predicted. Okay. All right, guys. What's the predicting for this one? Wait, did I do the one, two, three, four, five? I didn't. I didn't. Did I? I'm too hyped. Did I already do the one, two, three, four, five before I do one, two, three, four, five again? Okay, me either. <laughs> if I just reshuffle the one, two, three, four, five, we're gonna get it in the third card. So let's see how this is gonna be playing out. Once again, need to clear up some more room. This is the last pack, guys. So if you guys are new and enjoyed, make sure to give a smash that thumbs up button, boys and girls. We're gonna be doing this every once a week or two weeks. But yeah, you guys are probably thinking about playing. If you do the math, do this and that and that and that. You're going to be spending this much on Pokemon cards throughout the whole remaining of the year, etc, etc, etc. First, you can go in the casino and spend that and walk out with like $500 like you do all the time. Well, boys, instead of spending some money in a little bit of the casino this evening, and where, I'm get, uh, where I live, COVID is actually going and probably going to close my casino. So, yeah, part of the reason for that as well, too. I want to go in there with at least like $600. And then from the casino, I'll walk out, you know, with a grand. And then I'll buy like $200 in Pokemon. And if I get some more VMAXs or duplicates, maybe I'll give it out to somebody in Crazy Stream or something. And then I'll do a giveaway for money too. All right. My opinion is true. We got another holographic or do. That means since we got the hollow of the basic of Growthlich, we're going to get a VMAX or V2. Watch, boys. That's what's going to happen. Watch. That's what's happening right now. That last card is either going to be better than any card I pulled. Probably better than the last 10 people that's put Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, Elite Trainer Box on openings. Because I've watched a bunch of them. I'm at, I'm at really, I'm into algorithm. Something weird is going on here, boys. The girls are so weird, man. Don't make no sense. So, perceiving what makes this so interesting at this moment is since it's already given me two Growliths and now it's given me to hollow from a Growlithe instead of giving me a stage two, let's also play. So, theoretically, I've got nothing but triples quadruple duplicates and there's two Pokemon that I got seven cards in a fucking the same from one. Some, I don't even remember. And I got like five other Pokemon that I got fucking quads, I think or two doubles or something. I got a lot of freaking doubles. So if I got this in a holographic version, outside holo, shadow list by the way, it leads me to believe I'm getting a high card at the end of this. Let's see it. Let's see it, nubs. <laughs> we'll play and get the master card and try to trade, trade it for old time Charizard card from Mr. Logan Polyman. We shall see. We shall see. <gasps> Another duplicate. What did I say? Of my favorite Pokemon. I told you. Alright, dope. Now I can actually play with the Scyther because I'm going to keep one of those too. I'm going to just resleeve this really quick. Or no, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to resleeve this. I'm going to play this and leave this in my plate deck my sleeve ones that is a sign another sign all right guys you ready 
another sign, but a different version of a duplicated Pokemon. You see that? If you don't notice, a lot of these are just straight common, dudes. And this is Game Freak ones, too. This isn't, um, like, a specific... This is this Game Freak. The newer company that's doing different designing for this remaining year. Don't forget, guys, too. The reason why Pokemon cards have re-jumped up also is because they're approaching the 25th anniversary this year. 25th anniversary is going to have selected edition prints out. So make sure to get your hands on those while you guys can. Those will probably be full of fucking crazy cards that they have. And flush print. They're probably just going to throw those out. Maybe probably some new rare versions of these, too. That's probably where your money is going to go. Honestly. That's cool, though. If we get another duplicate. Another duplicate. What did I say? What did I say? And I already have a Demarnican deck. I literally got a pre-deck built with him where I actually got a lot of crazy holographic versions that are actually rare, that are worth at least $40, that I spent $15 on in a deck. I actually got, like, I'm not talking about one card. I'm talking about, like, the versions of them together. The water version, the fire version, and there's a, a lightning fire version or rock or some shit. I got him, too. And I have, like, five other versions of that. That's not in this pick, though. I technically only have two. I got one duplicate of this. And this pull. We're getting close, boys. A pit off. We got another one. What did I say? We got another one. Snover. We got another one. He beats it, too. Okay, no pun intended. <laughs> oh, my God. Who Honestly, who thought about that one? I see ya. Whoever thought about that one has a dirty mind. All right, boom. And indeed, today, dude, we got about the freaking too many of you. I think that's about the fifth one. Burning Scarf. Dude, these are literally, every single one of these have been a repeat. My trainers were supposed to be going in here in energy cards, and I stopped doing that, and nobody said anything. That's funny. <laughs> I got to go back through half of these and take my trainer cards out and energies. Um. Okay, let's move this on. Ooh, we got the second version of him. Okay, so we got stage one of him. We got three versions of that guy, okay? So now if my trueness is going on with this, and if it's giving out, or my, you know, my theory, and it's giving out stage ones now for two of the cards, I only have two stage ones throughout this whole entire pool, so does that mean I'm going to get something else really good, or is it just borderlining out, and I'm going to get another stage one, but in another holographic? Technically giving it two holographics in this opened version. Boom. Energy. It's the last one, boys. You ready? Ready? Last hype. <sighs> Shaboom! What the f What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Pools. Don't get me wrong. Let me think about the odds and the ratio between that because that still makes sense. I would expect that. I'm gonna make this one sleeve to the side because it is a. That is another. That is another one. But, um, I got a surprise for you guys. Don't think this is the end. Because it's not. <laughs> so, that was a great freaking pull. But the last card of Lack Pack kicked me in my... Uh, the feeling? That's me. The sad violin song is playing so soberly. We got still some really great freaking pulls, though, bros. <laughs> But it's not over. We're gonna restart this stream and end this one because I got a surprise. Your boy Plim is a fucking nerd. So, we're gonna be opening these here in a few minutes. We're gonna redo this. I'm not gonna save it. I'm too hyped. I'm too freaking hyped. Too hot! 
Like, buddy, we really pulled those fucking cards, dude? <laughs> and you know what I seen? On the back of this one, look what we can pull, dudes. We can really pull that one. It says there's a one in a thousand chance to pull the rarest card in this box. And we get a V Pikachu, too. So that kind of pays for itself in the card box. I love Pikachu, for those that know. You know what I mean? All right, guys. So, I'm going to end this stream. Keep a pin out. I'm going to get get some water. You guys go get some snacks because this was a grinder. This was an hour and 20 minutes. So, thank you guys for enjoying this. If you guys really enjoy this, make sure to comment. You know, uh, Sorry for the last one. The comments were not obtainable on that. We had some technical difficulties. For some reason, you can't comment on my last done opening. But make sure, you know what I mean? Like, comment and stuff. You guys really want to see more of this stuff because I've done a lot of these off stream. And I did not realize you guys didn't enjoy these as much, you know. Long enough for me to take a shower? Oh, yeah, guys. Just don't take a half hour shower. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's going to be about 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm going to be re live. We're going to be opening these. I'm going to deal with some of these cards. Going to put up, get them all nice and situated. But. Yeah, we're going to be opening the rest of them. So you guys do know. <laughs> uh, so we got one TCG 10 card pack, another TCG 10 card pack, another TCG 10 card pack. We got both of each. So if we can pull one of these, I'll be sad. Sad, sad as fuck, mother trucker. Uh -huh. Five packs in one, right? Plus those three. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Already did in the first five minutes. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you, guys. Love you, guys. Uh, and yes, this one, too. It's probably only going to... This one will be a little bit shorter since we don't have a, a giant amount. Um, I have five Pokemon TCG packs in here. Three foil, fo uh, foil Pokemon, a V Internalist, V Pikachu, and EV, a V Virgin, and then a code promo for all those cards being in play. So we got three TCG cards right here, anyways. By the way, if you guys see these, these are the cards that sit on. Ones that are popular and in an addition. If I saved this pack right here for about five years, you know how much you see this shit going online right now being sold? There's so many people buying it. If you go into the store, I literally did. There was people like butthurt that I was that I was buying these cards. Literally. Literally. I could tell people were butthurt because I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm talking with this guy. I was like, yeah, dude. Uh, I was like, you don't want to really look at with like too much of the newer ones, blah, blah, blah. These other people were just giving me dirty ass look. And I'm like, all right. And this guy kept looking at this. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is the only tin, though. But I was like, I'm getting this guy. You know, I was like, bink, got it. And I was like, no. You were all looking at it. People were getting butt hurt. Because people are trying to go and resell tins. They have no value. They have no care. They look like normal fucking literally rich kids that are just going and spending a few hundred dollars on these and opening up YouTubes. Not trying to be mean, guys. Don't support those people. Support your smaller streamers and people who actually, you know, his family who's grinded to get to where they are today. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. They were butter, because guess what? They missed out big time, bud. <laughs> All right. So, everybody, we're going to have a little break. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, put him out. Next time's about 20 minutes. Yeah.